Welcome back to this video course on constructing a bull roarer. Now this lesson is on the designs and as you can see here I have a number of different designs. These are the ones that I sell on Etsy. They're finished, they're painted by lightning which is Lichtenberg burning. The two shapes are the traditional shape which is this one and I've got the two different strings that I sell with it wrapped around. I didn't unwrap that. Nylon seems to wear better and the natural jute twine is more natural and uh, appealing in my mind but it doesn't last nearly as long. That's a traditional design that's about 10 inches long. This is a square design or a rectangular design rather and it uh, seems to produce a better sound in my mind. And I say this traditional, but it's only traditional because we named it such. These are other traditional bull roar designs. From the left, uh, you can see the that bigger one makes a deep sound and it's heavy. That's probably around 11 or 12 inches long and about 3 inches wide or a little bit wider at its widest. Uh, and that makes uh, a very pleasing deep sound. These other bull roars here, each of them work, although the one, this one right here in the middle, the square one, it's rather thick. And it's so heavy it doesn't really spin very well. This design with the sawtooth edge is a really fun one to make and it's a fun one to listen to. These are all in their raw state. They're not finished at all. I'm gonna paint them by lightning. Uh, and then this one right there is one of the pleasing sounded ones. Uh, I really like the sound of that. This one is supposed to be a turtle showing my poor, poor artistry. Uh, my wife said, oh, that looks like a good lizard. Well, it doesn't it look like a lizard, even this end one here. And that one is a pretty hefty one, and it makes a little bit of a sound. I'd never seen a bull roar with edges like this before, and it doesn't work very well, frankly, but it's a unique shape and design. So I would recommend if you're going to, when you're first starting out, Make a very simple bull, bull roarer, something like this. Those are easy to construct. This one doesn't even have sloped edges. It's rather squared edges. And uh, with just a little bit of sanding on it so that the wood doesn't start coming away. Those are the different designs that you can um, create. I'll put a link for the Wikipedia site because it shows the different designs. Some of these are from Native American tribes. Uh, some of them came from the Asias, I believe, and some from South America. It's a really fun process. And so I would say after you get the hang of making a bull, bull roars that make good sound, then experiment just like I have. And each of these actually make a sound uh, except for this big thick heavy one right there in the middle but all of them make sound and it uh, makes a little bit different sound thanks for watching and on to the next lesson